Hey there, it's Mike with Kimmy Cloud back with another great video. Welcome to part five in our video series on WHMCS. In this video, we'll be covering how to configure a cPanel server in WHMCS. Before we get too far, I'd like to mention that in order to install and run WHMCS, you need a WHMCS license. If you are a Kimmy Cloud customer, we've got you covered. We offer a free WHMCS license with our expand or established reseller hosting plans. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. First, I'm going to open my WHMCS admin. As you can see, mine is already open. Next, move your mouse cursor to the top right corner and hover over the wrench icon. When the little menu appears, click System Settings. Next, when the System Settings page loads, use the search function at the top of the page and search for Servers. When the search result comes up, click Servers to open the Servers module. To add a new server, click the Add New Server button. You will be presented with a list of options to link your server to WHMCS. Let's review these options. As we are adding a cPanel server, be sure the selection in the dropdown adjacent to the module option is cPanel. Next, for hostname or IP address, enter the hostname or IP address of the server you're adding. Next, enter the username and password to the WHM. Finally, enter your API token. You can find your API token in WHM. If you aren't familiar with obtaining your API token from WHM, don't worry, we've got you. We put a link to our knowledge base article on how to do this in the video description. After entering the server information, click the Test Connection button. If the connection was successful, you will see a connection successful message at the top of the page. Next, we need to enter some basic information. On this page, you should enter as much of this information as possible. However, the most important section is at the bottom. The Name Server section. If you are using our reseller hosting, you have two options for your name servers. One, you can create your own custom name servers. If you aren't familiar with creating your custom name servers, we've included our knowledge base article on how to do that in the video description. And number two, you can use the generic name servers which were provided by Kimmy Cloud when your account was created. Please consult your welcome email for these name servers. By adding a cPanel server to your WHMCS, this will allow you to use the automation functions and make your life that much easier. When you finish, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Save Changes. And that's it. Now you've added your first cPanel server to your WHMCS installation. You're almost ready to begin selling hosting. And that concludes this video on how to configure a cPanel server in WHMCS. Stay with us for the next video in this series where we'll cover how to create a product in WHMCS. All right, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you'll probably enjoy our hosting services even more. Kimmy Cloud offers the best customer service in the industry, along with a fast, secure, and reliable cloud hosting platform, all backed up by five-star public reviews from our own customers. Try us out for 45 days worry-free, we're so confident that you'll be satisfied with our services. If you're not happy, you get your money back. We look forward to bringing you more video tutorials in the coming weeks. Have a great day and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.